Yes, as their new stadium is rising, the Minnesota Vikings are eyeing to move east of the Mississippi River. And the team's new potential neighbors are ready to welcome them with open arms. The team's headquarters have been at Winter Park in Eden Prairie for 35 years. Yesterday, the Vikes bought nearly 200 acres of land in Egan at the old Northwest Airlines headquarters. The Vikings aren't ready to make the move official, but Kate Raddatz spoke with city officials in Egan who've approved some big plans, Kate. That's right, Amelia. We first learned about some of these plans last August when the Vikings announced they were in talks to buy the land. While they haven't officially announced what they will do with the space, the mayor of Egan says he is confident it will bring tremendous opportunity to the city. Winter Park has served as the Minnesota Vikings headquarters in Eden Prairie for 35 years. But now the team's eyes are set on land across town in Egan. We're very excited. I think the, uh, the purchase of the land uh, moves uh, us and the Minnesota Vikings, I think, one step closer. The 185 acre space, just 20 minutes south of U.S. Bank Stadium, was once home to Northwest Airlines headquarters. They left a lot of space out there that's been, that really has been untouched by development. So it's a really prime uh, site. In their preliminary plans announced last year, the Vikings proposed moving their headquarters and training facility, but also included a small stadium, outdoor fields, event center, and possibly a Hall of Fame. My understanding is they intend to raise uh, and, and build new uh, in terms of uh, reusing the buildings uh, as, or as opposed to that. Um, but again, I'm not positive on that. That really is uh, more a call of the Vikings. Vikings owner Ziggy Wilf said the purchase of the land offers an opportunity to transform a vacant piece of property for the benefit of the community and the region. Owner Mark Wilf was more cautious about the deal, saying, while completing the purchase is the next step in the potential relocation of the team's headquarters and training facility, several steps remain before a conclusion is reached. It's been the buzz around the community. Uh, I think them actually closing on the land uh, again just moves us one step closer. If the Minnesota Vikings were to build all of the elements proposed to city council, they would be looking at four to five hundred million dollars in development. So far, the city of Egan said there have been no discussions of the public contributing to the cost. If the Vikings are cleared by planning committees and city council, they could break ground by May. So wow. we'll have to see what happens with that. All right. Thank you, Kate. Thanks, Kate.